Mixed exercise question number 10. Uh, exercise 9, question number 10. A windmill has four identical triangular sails made from wood. If each triangle has sides of lengths 12, 15, 20, work out the total area. So, right, which side is length here? So, it look like here. So, then for 20, the second length uh, is this one, 15 meter, 20 meter, and the shortest one is 12 meter. So, let's say A, B, C, and the area formula is half a b uh, sine c for that i need a uh, angle so i i know three sides then uh, the best uh, formula to find the angle is cos rule so from cos rule I'm going to find this one. Cos B equal 12 square and 20 square minus 15 square minus 2 times 12 times 20. 2 times 12 times 20. So cos B equal 12 square 144, 20 square 400 and 15 square 225 over 24 12 times 2 24 times 20 so this answer from the calculator 0 0.664 then b is cos inverse 0 0.664 approximate answer 48394 now for, to find the area uh, area of triangle of triangle ABC is half a BC times AB sine uh, this is 49.394 sine 49.394 mean half a 12 times 20 times uh, sine 48.394 so answer is 89.72 square meter question number 11 two points a and b are on the level ground so two point um, this is A and B on level ground a church tower at point C a church tower okay it can be like this point C or it can be like this in the middle uh, and uh, it can be like this A, B this is C C has the angle of elevation from A15 ok from A15 and from b32 this can't be because 32 should be so the angle size when you look at with this one compare with this one this is bigger this can't be okay this is possible and this is also possible and b a and b both same side it means so this is the uh, same side of C. So this is the both side of C. So this is not possible. So this is the only option is left. So 
E, B, 15, and C, this is 32, oh. and uh, this is D, and A, B is 75, 75 centimeter. What is the question is about? Find the height of the church tower. When I look at uh, this triangle, I I have no plan yet, but I can see this is 90, this is 32, so I can find this one. Uh, 90 plus 32, 120, so, so 180 minus 122, so this is going to be 58. Now I can find this one as well. 180 minus 32. 180 uh, minus 32. 148. Then I can find this one as well. 148 plus 15. 163 and 180 because angle of the triangle add up to so this is going to be so this is 17 so I have no plan yet but first of all I this 58 I found the angles now when I look at this triangle BDC triangle I can see that this is a right angle triangle. I know this angle. So if I know hypotenuse, this one, then I can easily find the height. But is there any chance to find this length? Okay, I know this length and I know this angle. And I know this angle and I can find this length from the sine rule. Then I know this length and then I can work out. So that's the plan. So from sign law, uh, BD divided by sign 15 equal um, 75 divided by sign 17. So BD equal 78 times sign 15 divided by uh, sign 17. I got that this is 75 and I got the calculated answer 66.392. Okay, approximately 66.34. So this is 66.34. Now, when you come and stand up here, you can see uh, the this one. DC is the opposite and this is hypotenuse. So what is an hypotenuse? Uh, the ratio is sine. So sine 32 equal DC divided by 63.34. So DC equal cross multiply 63.34 times sine 32. So the answer is 30.518 meter. So approximately 35.2 meter. Question number 12. Uh, A, y equal tan x. Uh, so we turn into y equal tan half x so we can explain this one uh, transformation we have to explain so this is a, a stretch of uh, this is a stretch with uh, scalar factor 2 uh, uh, in the x direction and B 
y equal tan half a x turn into y equal 3 plus tan half a x. So we want to shift this graph by 3 to up. So So this is a translation of plus 3 towards y direction, positive y direction. Part 3, y equal cos x into y equal minus cos x. We did this kind of... Uh, questions now all this is affecting to a y value so this is a reflection in the x-axis and d um, y equals sin x minus 10 turn into y equal sin x plus 10. Now this is, a, this is a translation. To empty units to negative x direction question number 13 sketch on the same axis that uh, y equal tan x minus 45 and y minus 2 cos x now uh, you want to sketch uh, y equal tan x minus 45 First of all, I will sketch uh, y equal tan x. Very nice sketch. Uh, this is 0, 90, minus 90. Um, the graph is something like this. And, uh, So this is tan x and this graph is we need to shift uh, by 45 to the right x minus 45 equals 0 x equal 45 so we want to drag so it means this 90 now the asymptotic is not in 90 now it is in 90 plus 45 so 95 plus 45 so this is become 135 this is become 0 plus 45 so this is 45 and this is minus 90 so minus 90 plus 45 minus 45 so that's how it is and uh, uh, this is minus 45 and this is plus 45 this is minus 45 and plus 45 it means 0 is somewhere something like this so I just leave the graph as it is and I change these asymptotes and axis. So I add 45 now. When I delete this one now, this is y equal y equal tan x minus 45. Now I want to draw y equal minus 2 cos x first of all i draw y equal cos x 90 180 so this is 1 minus 1 so starting from here 
and write this. Then I will draw y equal to cos x. Then this is going to be 2 and this is minus 2. Now the graph is going like this. And now y equal minus 2 because now I have to switch. It means this is going like this now. Now this is a reflection of x axis. It means this is uh, 1, 2. And uh, this is 90. So this is 45 and this is 135, 90 some miles here. So the graph is going uh, like this. This is two. So this is y equal minus two cos x. This is y equal cos x. This is y equal two cos x. And minus two cos x reflection of x axis. So we done in. Uh, this is y equal minus 2 cos x. Now part b, we need to deduce tan uh, x minus 45 plus 2 cos x equal 0 and uh, tan x minus 45 reduce the solution number of solutions okay I can see this one appear in here I can see this one uh, appear in here so tan x minus 45 equal minus 2 cos x so this is y equal tan x minus 45 and this is y equal minus 2 cos x okay. Uh, to find the intersection point we saw those two we saw above by equating those two so about uh, equations How do we solve this one? Tan x minus 45 equal minus 2 cos x. But there is no intersection point. These two graphs uh, don't intersect each other. But there is no intersection point points hence there are no solutions to tan x minus 45 equal minus 2 cos x which is tan x minus 45 plus 2 cos x 0 which is in here if you want you can take one this is two so one equal to that's how you solve these two equation make equally this is one method then we will get this one but there is no intersection point huh? there is no solution to this one which is this question number 14 when you're ready you can go through now this is sine graph
So this is x axis and this is plus one minus one. This is normal sign graph. So to three sixty. So now this is hundred and eighty, ninety, zero, two seventy, three sixty. Now in this graph, in this picture, you can see that 180, this crossing point now become what? 120. It means you can see that this graph shifted to left by 180 minus 120, 60 unit. So this is sine graph. It means y equals sine x plus 60. It is shifted to 60 unit. Then uh, this peak is somewhere here now. It means 90 minus. So this is coordinate of this one. 90 and 1. Now this 90 become uh, 90 minus 60. 30 and 1. So now the... Uh, this is this graph is look like something like this and uh, this 270 minus 270 minus 60 210 so somewhere here uh, 210 this is going to be touch and like this then this is 360 in this point and then 360 you want to bring to 60 left it means this is going to be 300 now let's see the questions the value of p so the value of p it is clear that now p is 300 the coordinate of d the coordinate of d earlier it is 91 the peak now it is shifted the x value 90 minus 60 30 now the coordinate of the is 30 and 1 the smallest value for k so the smallest value for k is uh, that is going to be 60 why it's a smallest value because you can get infinite number of values for k because the same place i can add moving another 360 plus 60 so likewise uh, we can get infinite number of answers for k so the smallest one is d equal 60 and then uh, last part is uh, find q so what is the equation y equal x sine x plus 60 at this point uh, so at this point q x value is 0 x is 0 right uh, at q x equal 0 so y equal sine 0 plus 60 sine 60 sine 60 mean square root 3 over 2 so q is uh, 0 square root 3 over 2 question number 15 y equals sine px and we have two options for p either p greater than 1 or p less than 1 so this is uh, Ninety hundred and eighty two seventy three sixty. So this is y equals sine x graph. If p greater than one, what will happen? This option. This graph is going to be something like this. This is P greater than 1. If P less than 1, 
here what kind of graph is going to be it is stretching more and more now it's the closest point to the origin that the graph fx process x axis uh, x has x coordinate 36 now instead of 180 now it is crossing at what 36 something like this 36 it means it should be b greater than 1 so it's like y equal y equal sign 2x y equal sign 2.5 x so y equal sign uh, 4x y equal sign 5x now this 180 we want to bring to 36 it means 180 divided by something is 36 or cross multiply 180 divided by 36 is x what is the x value x is 180 divided by 36 y so what is this graph y equals sine phi x graph next part we want to write the uh, period period mean distance between two similar points if we start this point for sine graph it will go like this and it will finish and this point again it's same as this one so in the sine graph uh, y equals sine x graph so the period is 360 now the same thing you will get 36 and the other 36 it means 72 so period is going to be 72 so this graph is y equals sine phi x and scalar factor is uh, 1 over 5 so you can get the period 360 multiplied by the scalar factor so 360 times 1 over 5 that make 72 question number 16 when you're ready that graph y equals sine theta so part b we want to show that sine alpha equal sine 180 minus alpha 180 minus alpha so what is sine alpha mean finally if alpha equal 30 sine 30 it is a value half where this half lies this half lies in y axis so finally this all this is also a value and this is also a value this value lies on y axis so i'm going to draw the uh, sine graph so if i like this is alpha like 30 so sine alpha is this is the value so let me take this is as t so sine alpha equal t then 180 minus alpha by the symmetricity this is also alpha this is 180 so this this point this distance also alpha so this point is 180 minus alpha this distance is alpha so it is alpha when sine 180 minus alpha also give the same t this is equal to sine 180 minus alpha then 180 plus alpha this is alpha then this is become what 
180 plus alpha. So now you can get same same size, but this is going to be minus t. So then sine 180 plus alpha is minus t. Also, you can see by the symmetricity, symmetricity, this length alpha then 360 minus alpha also have the same minus t. Sine 360 minus alpha have the same minus t. Now if I write like this again, sine alpha equal sine 180 alpha equal t. Then uh, sine 180 plus alpha equal sine 360 minus alpha equal minus t. Now if I want to equal to this one to this, this is minus t. I want to make this expression to be positive. So I will multiply by, let's say 1, 1 multiplied by minus. So this is minus sine 180 plus alpha equal minus sine 360 minus alpha equal minus t times minus t become positive t. Uh, sine alpha sine 180 minus also minus sine alpha minus 3 is equal. so then our conclusion is what sine alpha equal sine 180 minus alpha equal minus sine 180 plus alpha equal minus sine uh, 360 minus alpha. Question number 17 when you ready. So I draw a cos graph. This is 0, 90, 180, um, 270, 360. So I'll take alpha distance from here. This is alpha and um, when I have this point, this is alpha, then this is 180 minus alpha, this point of the alpha distance, so this point is 180 plus alpha and then uh, this is 360 alpha distance away so this is 360 minus alpha now you can see that when it is alpha what is this coordinate alpha sine cos cos alpha cos alpha is a value the value is this one this value so I will take this is t and then this is also t. It means cos alpha equal t equal cos 360 minus alpha. In other way cos alpha equal cos 360 minus alpha equal same as this one. So this is also same size but this is negative. Then cos cos 180 minus alpha equal minus t. So this value is equal to uh, cos 180 plus alpha. Hence uh, I can write cos 180 minus alpha equal 
cos 180 plus alpha equal minus t. So this is t and this is minus t. So if I make t, then I can equal this expression. So I will multiply by this one, let's say a, a multiply by minus, then this is minus cos 180 minus alpha cos 180 plus alpha equal minus t times t is t. And now this is t, this is also t, then from here and here like b and c from b and c you can show that cos alpha equal cos 360 minus alpha equal minus cos 180 minus alpha equal cos 180 plus alpha so this is tan alpha graph you can see that uh, if this is like t uh, tan alpha equal again tan 180 plus alpha this is 180 minus alpha this is 180 plus alpha this is 360 minus alpha so equal t and likewise you can see that this is negative this is negative t so sine sorry, tan 180 minus alpha equal tan 360 minus alpha equal negative t so i'll multiply by minus so then this will become minus tan 180 minus alpha minus tan 360 minus alpha equal t now one and two from one and two you can write tan alpha equal tan 180 plus alpha equal minus tan 180 minus alpha equal minus tan 360 minus alpha uh, question number 18 when you ready you want to draw that y equal sign 60x graph this is y equal uh, sin x so this is the period 360 so i will make it equal to 360 i want to find the period uh, 360 equal 60x and x equal 360 divided by 60 which is 6 now this 360 point uh, will get y equal sine 60 x graph within 6 this value is 6 the second one also 6 6 plus 6 12 then uh, 12 plus 6 18 so 18 plus 6 24 this is y equals sign uh, 60x graph from the graph you can see part b there are 1 2 3 4 Four sand dunes. Between zero greater than x greater than or theta greater than twenty-four. Let's see. Here yeah, you will see that it takes three hundred and sixty degrees to complete a cycle. 
but in y equals 90, uh, 60x uh, it will take only 6 6 units here 360 units so part c give one reason uh, this may not be a realistic model because the height can be very some may see here uh, some may see here uh, in the sand dune and so that's what we have to expect height of sand dunes may not be the same 